Welcome. So what I'd like to do is show you how to evaluate for the inverse tangent of square root of three. Now remember when dealing with the inverse tangent of square root of three, what we're really saying is the tangent of what angle equals the square root of three. And that angle has to fall within our range of negative pi halves, which is less than or equal to y, which is less than or equal to pi halves. So my, my, my angle has to fall within that range, which is going to limit us between the fourth and the first quadrant. So I need to determine what angle is going to, what tangent value or angle, when taking the tangent of it, is going to provide me with the square root of three. And remember, when we took the tangent of an angle, what we did is we took the ratio of the y coordinate divided by the x coordinate. So what I need to do is determine, first of all, which coordinate um, is going to be positive, or which quadrant is going to leave me only with positive angle a positive value. Well, that's only going to be in the first quadrant. Then I need to look at when I take the square root of when I take the y coordinate over the x coordinate, what is the only angle that's going to provide the square root of 3 um, as my answer? Well, if I look at this first angle, which would be at pi over 3, I would have the square root of 3 divided by 2 divided by 1 half. And when I simplify that, I simply get the square root of 3. So therefore, the inverse tangent of square root of 3 is equal to the angle of pi thirds. And again, to say that in a different way, the tangent of pi thirds is equal to the square root of 3. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you evaluate for the inverse tangent function. Thanks.